Hello and welcome everyone. So uh, today I'll be explaining you Code Forces 501 Div 3 problem E2. Actually, E1 and E2 are the same problem except for the addition. It is the hard version called Stars Drawing. So so we will we'll be given an n, n, n times m matrix okay and uh, uh, the statement says that uh, a star is a figure of the following type an asterisk star in the center of the figure and the, it, it will have four rays left right bottom and up okay all of them has to have a positive length now the size of a star is the length of its ray which means if, the, if it is a star then the length is 2 because uh, this is the size of a star is the length of its rays the size of a star must be positive uh, number and the rays length is not actually 0 is not allowed rays length 0 is not allowed so so this is an asterisk of length 1 because it has a, a same length uh, 1 ray okay apart from the center okay we'll, we'll count one rays uh, star apart from the center uh, star so this is one length uh, star we can say uh, so we are we're and this is this is two two length star two size size star of size 2 and this is the uh, star of size actually what three so we'll be given this and in this problem we have to find the number of stars in the output okay we have uh, our task task is to uh, draw this grid using any number of stars or find out that it is impossible so we have to just find we have to somehow find that okay if all of these small asterisks they are somehow related to or grouped to some stars uh, characterized as this okay so no star will be left every star should be able to uh, uh, if, uh, I mean each and every star should be able to uh, grouped in some uh, I'm sorry uh, every asterisk asterisk should be able to grouped in some star categorized like this okay no star can be like okay um, it is not grouped okay so uh, I'll, I'll show you with an example you will understand more then and uh, so also we are saying that okay in this problem you don't need to minimize the number of stars just find a way any way to draw the given grid with at most n times m stars so we have to do it efficiently as we can see that n and m is up to 1000 so we can't make a n cube algorithm okay we can't we can't we can't bridge for an al for an algorithm up to for a solution up to big of n cube it might cross the time limit it's only three seconds okay so we're gonna have to somehow we're gonna have to find a way to do that in big of n square so um, I'll take this example this might be fit uh, this might fit well okay so okay I'll show you one example here uh, uh, let's say we take this example okay five times five Okay, first let's explain the first example. We'll understand more when we uh, jump into a look why this is possible. I have to, I have to define. Uh, okay, now the answer. Uh, okay, uh, okay, yes. So, what do we have to give as output? Okay, it is going to be impossible if we can't draw the given grid using stars. Okay, so if we can't draw the given grid using stars not a single star or one star is ungrouped okay it will, we're gonna give a minus one if it's impossible and uh, otherwise 
we're gonna be printing how many stars we found out and their centers length I guess um, Yep, the center stars length and uh, the center stars uh, position coordinates x and y and the index uh, I mean the uh, and the length I mean this the length of the star which means the rays actually indicating so let's ex uh, the, let's uh, let's explain the first example they're saying here okay this is the example let's check uh, okay they're telling me okay there are three ways to do that okay I am finding okay this can be done if I if I denote it as a center then uh, okay, I'll explain you, you with one, two, three, four. So they are saying that, uh, let's say, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, let's say one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, one here, and uh, two here, okay. So, like this, so here we got 5 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 5, okay. So let's, uh, let's, oh, so what we're given, we have to somehow group all of the star, all of the asterisks and group them into some star characteristics has been defined as here, as we, as we have already discussed. Now, let's find out, okay. So I can make this as an this uh, these asterisks. Let's say, uh, as you can see, here's the three asterisks on the column, and here. So we can make this as a group. This group. This is one group of stars. Okay. And we can also make let's say this. Okay. So we can well, we have already found out two stars. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Okay, they have same length and then so the answer might not be same as the uh, output console that they are giving, but the answer is correct because they are telling us uh, stars can intersect, they can overlap, or even coincide with each other. The number of stars in the output cannot exceed in times m. So it doesn't matter uh, how you do, but you have to make sure that each and every asterisk is grouped into some stars. I hope it made you understand the statements and the problem. And uh, also, I uh, let's 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 give let's take this example one two three one two three okay uh, one two three four okay so let's take this example. One, two, three, four, and uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Sorry. Okay. So this uh, this example is uh, given output as minus one. Answer as minus one. Why? Because there will be some, no matter how you track the stars, you will you will get some some asterisks. They won't be grouped in any way. Let's uh, let's just find out what what could be that uh, that asterisk risk. Okay, um, as we can see, uh, okay, I can build one star from here. Let's say one two three and one two three. Okay, we can build one star. But we cannot anyhow, in any way, we cannot make this be grouped into some stars. Because if I star something from here, okay, I cannot make, I can't, this, this isn't a star at all, right? 
uh, the rays are not in the same length so it cannot be considered so if there is some star which is not grouped you can you have to uh, give the answer as minus one because it it is impossible it is definitely impossible so how should we approach this problem so I thought about a kind of like a brute force and then a bit of memorization which is which you can call it as a so-called DP but as you can see it can also be solved with binary search but I solved it with brute force and a, a slight bit of DP how did we reach the how did we uh, got to the approach actually where the two two of the things that we needed one was the prefix some algorithm okay the, uh, I mean prefix some techniques and also the scan line technique 2d scan line I I just did a 2d scan line technique I run out prefixes and uh, to, uh, to, uh, to generate the values uh, the pre-compute values and I did a 2d prefix sum also a 2d scan line algorithm to find out I'll, sh uh, I'll now I'll explain you how I did that okay let's take this example um, this example okay let's take the previous one as I say okay let's take the previous one this example one two three four one two three okay and these are dots let's uh, let's assume that this is an asterisk okay so we're given a grid so what will I do is okay I will uh, for each asterisk asterisks okay for each of the asterisks uh, situated inside the matrix uh, we are finding okay what is its leftmost consecutive asterisk what is its rightmost consecutive asterisk what is its upmost consecutive asterisks and what is its downmost consecutive asterisks why is how is that gonna help us you can assume that it is gonna help us because if we we can we can detect the center of an of a star by having these four values pre-computed as prefix sum and suffix sum also up prefix and down suffix okay I hope I made you understand I'll explain to the code part two but as uh, as I have already told you, for each of these asterisks, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-compute four values. One is the the prefix sum. Uh, I mean the leftmost consecutive. Here is the leftmost consecutive. So let's say for this for this asterisk, we'll have four values as what? Uh, okay, left mo left consecutive is two. And right consecutive is two, up consecutive is two, and down consecutive is three. Here is three. Okay. Now, how is that gonna help us to determine? Okay, there is an there is a star. It is gonna determine because when I take the minimum value, if I take the minimum value, I will understand. Okay, I have the minimum. The minimum of them is two, right? Now this two is actually indicating this two this two this two and also this two okay so uh, in a sense you uh, so if you do this you uh, you'll get the intuition that you have actually got a full formed uh, function group uh, so called as a star of length 1 why 1 because this 2 includes the center itself we don't want to include the center we want to include without the center so let's just uh, finally minus 1 so actually you've got one length uh, star okay you have found out the one length star now what will what are you gonna do next you will do a uh, you have to somehow uh, track those uh, asterisks 
so that they can uh, so so that after that you can be assured of it that okay these are these asterisks has been into some groups i don't have to worry about them anymore okay if so if um, uh, so uh, so and also you can also find out which of the asterisks are not marked yet so that you could say okay it's impossible right now i hope you understand that so and what is the uh, and uh, how should uh, and uh, the next thing that next question that come to your mind is okay then how will we know that whether it's uh, how will we tr how will we keep track of those asterisks that this uh, asterisk is going to be in part of some group and this asterisk is not how will we know that we can also know that with the help of what scan line yes uh, if you uh, if, if you if you know how scan line works then it's fine if you don't know then you can check out my playlist on uh, which I already I already have uh, explained about scanline algorithm. You might want to check it out. Uh, the link is in the description. You might want to check it out. Uh, so 2D scanline algorithm. Uh, using this algorithm, you can do per query. You can do a big of one operation, and then finally you may generalize the whole array, and you may find out uh, which of them. Uh, which of those uh, which of these values are actually grouped and which of uh, which of these asterisks are actually grouped and which are not I'll show you the code part, but uh, let me tell you you need to be able to understand the scan line, okay? Uh, 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 so you might want to check if you don't know well how it works uh, uh, I have a playlist on that uh, Let's just explain you through the code, you will understand more when I say, when I jump into the code part. So uh, here, here we are getting the code part. Okay, so what are we did? It's it's actually a very like seventy nine lines of codes. Uh, it looks to be very big, but it's actually easy. It's not that hard to understand. I will make you understand. Let's see. Uh, okay, so so this is n and n. Uh, I mean the matrix and we are this 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 arrays just look at it I've taken a line this line and U line is just for the 2d scan line algorithm just final final checking and this is a DP array where we are taking the matrix itself and this is a prefix sum suffix sum I mean the leftmost rightmost and then this is the upper leftmost and then the upper rightmost okay this is the upper rightmost I'm sorry this is the upper leftmost I'm, I'm sorry this is the uppermost prefix and this is the downward this is actually indicating the upward upward and this is indicating the downward this is also indicating the leftmost consecutive and the rightmost okay and we're defining all of them as zero initially and taking the matrix and here we are calculating those I told you that for each of the asterisk we are defining the asterisk as one and for each of the asterisk we are fi uh, finding their consecutive left one right one or upward one or downward one uh, value uh, that are the same which means how many asterisks are consecutive to them as left right or up or down so we are just finding that nothing else the same code okay just the same just a little bit of modification for up up left right down you know it very well you will understand that won't be any uh, so you will un you, you, you will understand that it's it's quite easy it's just the same prefix some just a little bit of modifications for the four directions okay you will understand that and then the next part uh, here is the fun part okay so we have defined their consecutive left ones right ones up ones and the down ones and when we're gonna be checking that this is the left right up and down why are doing minus one you know it I already told you we are we will subtract the center asterisk okay we are gonna be subtracting that because we need to find the length and then we're going to be finding the minimum of these four if the minimum of them 
is greater than or equal to 1 because we are not allowed to um, uh, have uh, the length rays equal to 0. So 1 asterisk won't be called as star. You know it. I already told you in the question when I was explaining the question. So uh, I hope you got the... Uh, I hope you got this uh, intuition. So minimum is if minimum is greater than or equal to one, we are just this line. Okay, this part. This part is just for scan line two D scan line algorithm. If you know scan line algorithm, you might wanna uh, you will you will get that. If you don't know, you might uh, don't know. I'll I'll just give a glimpse of explanation here. So what we are doing this is. Okay, this line portion is is working as from left to right, and this U line portion is from up to down. Okay, we are just doing the big of one operations as we do in scan line per query. We're doing this for each uh, of the elements uh, which are asterisk from left to right and from up to down because we have we have uh, we want to check which of them are actually uh, doing the work okay uh, and also and also we are uh, in 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 which range okay this this is a big question uh, look here we uh, I did what here what I did was I of J minus minimum why I'm doing this J minus minimum means I'm actually finding out this one like if this is a star okay if this is a star and I am here in the center Okay, I will only uh, do that when I found out the center of the star. Okay, so here I've got the center of the star. Here, this indicates this indicates the center of the star. Okay, look, uh, I'll be telling you this indicates. Sorry, uh, this indicates the center of the stars actually um, uh, where was it this indicates the state center of uh, I'm sorry uh, not here okay yeah this indicating the center of the star okay we've got a f we we've found out the star and we are just um, covering covering those marks and covering those footsteps uh, by from uh, left to right from here to here and from up to down from here to here. Okay. I hope you understand from here. This is for U line and this is for line portion. We're just marking those values, which we will accomplish afterwards when we do the same thing the prefix from left to right and the prefix from up to down. Again, I'm telling you. You will understand more when you learn about the scan line. Here I'm doing just 2D scan line algorithm. You'll understand when you learn about it. Uh, then I will just simply check. Okay, if any, if any case we found an asterisk, if it's a line portion, I mean the line mark or the or the U line mark, both are zero. If those both are zero, which means if both of them are zero which means they are not being part of this prefix sum where this situation happened then we're marking okay my FL is 0 and I'm breaking out which is an exceptional case which is impossible case so this is the uh, breaking part and else we found the answer where are we storing those answer we have already created a structure defining an edge structure keeping the coordinates of the center value of those asterisks and also the length because we have to we have to also print that also print that we have to print how many stars we've got and also the stars length and the center's coordinate we are which we did here here look we did here and pushed into the vector uh, uh, structure type vector structure type vector and we just printed that so that's how we just did the problem. In using this solution, you can also uh, get accepted uh, a, an accepted solution of easy version because both of them are just same, except for the constraints here. Uh, easy version you can do that without scan line algorithm, 
uh, linearly brute forcing but uh, but this this part the hard version you need definitely you need scanline if you want to do this using DP um, so that's it till next time goodbye